Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Money Matters Top Tips for Success, where each and every day I bring on new business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives and have them share their top tips for success with you. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, moneymatterstoptips.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today is a very special Reunion 2020 episode. What is that? That's when I bring on a guest that I had on in the past, and I like him so much I had to bring him right on back. Uh, so today's guest is Kira Reed, who's founder over at Marker Cannabis. Uh, Kira, welcome back to the show. Thanks so much for having me, Adam. So happy 2020, we're back and we made it. And I know you got some good announcements uh, that we're going to be do, uh, we're going to be talking about today, including a job matching site. So this is all really exciting stuff. Um, but before we do that, let's just get a little bit further. Um, I, I don't want to assume the audience has grown um, pretty um, pretty big since our last conversations have been blessed there, and I don't want to assume they caught the first uh, the first episode, the new listeners that is. Um, so let's just get into what you're doing over at Marker Cannabis. So first, tell us a little bit more about the company, please. So Marker Cannabis is a branding, marketing, and thought leadership strategy agency. I've been working in the social media and marketing space since 2005, and so that's kind of part of my consulting. Um, I also do business development in cannabis on both sides, both marijuana and the hemp CBD world. And um, out of Marker, I launched a project that um, ended up giving birth to Women Empowered in Cannabis, WEIC, which we've also grown in the last year from one group to now four groups. So our main Wow. Congratulations. First of all, that's not easy. Give yourself a little pat on that one. From one to four, that's four X in a year. Oh, my gosh. My head's spinning. Go ahead. Sorry. I know. I had to congratulate you on that one. (laughs) <laughs> Thank you. You know, it just it, it was forced to happen. We just reached a point where we had so many different types of women with so many different interests in cannabis that we really had to bust them out so that they could have a little more focused conversations. So we launched a supply chain group, which talks specifically about the issues around the supply chain. We launched a CBD group, which is focused on hemp and, you know, CBD stores and products and that industry. And then we also launched a LinkedIn group. So between all of them, we're at about 10,000 members now. We are relaunching the Women Empowered in Cannabis.com website, which is going to include a resources directory because I get questions all the time. You know, I want to work with other women. Can you recommend from the community women that I can work with for marketing and accounting, et cetera? So we put together a resources guide, and we're going to have a member directory as well. So we're really expanding in a lot of different ways to accommodate the growing community. Man, that is so exciting. I love it. I love to hear success stories like this. Um, so let's uh, let's go a little bit further. So what type of, um, especially for the community, so what type of um, people typically join? I mean, there's some people out there listening to this right now that they're like, oh, wow, there's some interesting things going on. Like what kind of things can they expect? So our group is geared towards women. We are a community of women professionals, industry leaders, influencers, employees, women working in cannabis. And we're a global community. We have members from pretty much every single legal or close to legal country in the world. Uh, We have someone represented in the community. And so what it is is a doorway when women come into the industry, there's a community here for you. You can insert yourself, become a member of the community, and you have resources available. You have the ability to meet women all over the world who are working in cannabis and the variety of verticals that build and make, uh, and the variety of verticals that make up our industry. So, you know, if you're looking for a researcher, if you're looking for someone who specializes in marketing, if you're new and you want to find the women in your area that are also in the industry, it just gives you the opportunity to create your tribe, find the resources and help that you need, and get yourself educated about the industry. Man, that's awesome. Um, let's uh, let's switch it up a bit. I want to know more about this job matching site. So, what's going on there? I can't keep up with you. A lot of things going on. I like it. <laughs> so, we're we've had to pivot several times since we launched, and our first attempt was an education platform. And it just, women in this industry are so busy. They've taken on so much that 
sitting and watching videos about how to run your business are just not top of mind. So we realized that and we pivoted into a member directory because we had so many women that wanted to have so many different kinds of conversations mm -hmm. that we couldn't fit it all into one timeline. So we launched a directory. And that, it, it's really hard to move a community from one platform to another. So we stepped back again and looked at it and said, what is the thing that we get absolutely the most? That also aligns with our goal to empower women. So we really want to make sure that the things that we do are giving power to women and it's handing them tools that enable them to do more. And we looked at the fact that we were constantly being bombarded with, you know, we, we, need, uh, we need people here, we need to hire people, we have open jobs. And on the other side, I'm desperately looking for work. Um, I've been, you know, we, in California we've had so many layoffs that it, it, the market is really flooded with personnel at the moment. But for companies, and I talk to companies about this all the time, who really do want to have a more gender um, inclusive and diverse workforce because statistics show over and over again that when you do open your doors and you foster an environment of gender inclusion and diversity in your company, you have less turnover, you have higher return on all investments because you've got teams of people working together from varying perspectives and you get a lot more creativity and a lot more productivity out of it. So we really want to help those companies in the cannabis industry that are reaching for that, that want to be good model citizens of the right kinds of cannabis businesses to build, uh, we want to help facilitate that. We want to help them have a pipeline and access to fill their candidates with women and women, very diverse women as well. So we're not, we're, we're matching women to opportunities. We're not job placing or recruiting. We're just going to have kind of a pipeline so that these companies can have a more targeted approach to their gender inclusion and diversity program. Man, that, that is so exciting. I love to hear what you're doing, and it just makes so much sense. And, and the most interesting thing I think about this is kind of how it evolved into what it should be because you, you create this community. It's amazing. People are coming to you, and you really just listen to the market. So you're like, wow, there's all these people that want jobs. There's all these people that have jobs that need to be filled. Um, they're not going to, like, see each other or meet, necessarily match with each other without you doing this. So I love it. It's like you kind the market spoke and you, and you delivered. So that's really cool. Um, how do you um, – uh, no, it just, it just makes so much sense. And I think, well, in order to understand the genius in that, let's talk about what some, sometimes some other people do. Maybe they come up with these things that the market's not necessarily asking for per se, and the market's letting you know they're not because they're not, they're not, you know, coming to you for the product. And it, it happens time and time again. So I love it. The fact that you, when I think about like our company and the things we do, like most of the ideas come from, from the guests and from people that are looking from the outside looking in. I'm like, I don't, I, I want to learn like, like, like that's who teaches me because they're the ones consuming. They're the ones that are like, hey, you should probably do this or you should change this. And I'm like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. We probably should. All of our products, everything, they were all requested by people. Like we did, I didn't come out. Sometimes we get some credit over here that we don't like. Like, like I'm like, I didn't originate that idea. A guest asked for that. <laughs> it was a good idea, wasn't it? That's good. <laughs> so I love it that well, you're that you're doing that. Thank you, and it's. You know, it, it's a kind of a double-edged sword because on one hand, you know, I've, I've had to be very flexible and I've had to be willing to let go of things that I built because that's exactly how we started. I launched something mm -hmm. that the market really wasn't that interested in at the time. I don't know if it changed, but I've, I've left that idea behind now. But it's a very different um, perspective on building a business because, you know, I, and I've, I've had this conversation with so many people over the years that want me to define, you know, what is the business. Well, I don't know because I've got to throw it out there and see what my audience wants because if I commit to something and invest a ton of money in it and raise money behind it and it doesn't work, what good does that do me? And the Internet has allowed people to build businesses like yourself and like mine where we can do that. We can pivot on a dime because it's been so low cost to start the business. Yeah, that's so, exciting. Right? It's, it's, it's really, it's a very different way of looking at a business model, but it is so much more relevant to the way that so many businesses work today. And you've always got to be able to pivot to what your market wants. And that's, 
I mean, to, you know, to speak to, as a branding professional, that's why having a brand that speaks about values is so important because those values won't change even if your offering does. Your, your customer base still has this relationship with you. They still have loyalty with you. They still trust you. But now they're in a different kind of relationship with you because you're actually giving them what they want from you as opposed to, you know, buy this package and then if that doesn't work, now we have to redefine what we're doing and, you know, we break relationships with our people. And it's, it's just a, it, the, the Internet business is so much more nimble. That's awesome. So, so Kira, if somebody's listening to this and they want more information either on uh, women empowered in cannabis or on marker cannabis, um, what's the best way for them to for them to follow up? So they can follow up with me at Kira Reed on Instagram, on Twitter. I'm on LinkedIn at Kira Reed. Um, I, I'm I'm all over the place and pretty easy to find. I'm on social all day, so I receive messages pretty easily. You can check out our marketing. Uh, excuse me. You can check out our marketing agency at marker m a r k y r dot com. You can also check out W E I C Careers, our women empowered in cannabis job matching site at W E I C Careers dot com. And there you go. That's pretty much it. Fantastic. Um, well, hey, Kira, really appreciate you coming on the show today and uh, really excited about all the things that you're doing. I mean, it's just awesome, um, bridging bridging workforce gap and um, obviously on the marketing side, so all great stuff there. Uh, and to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the FY iTunes store. Um, if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, don't forget to leave us some comments in the video section. Love to talk to you and engage there. And uh, Kira, thanks again for coming on the show. Thank you, Adam.